Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Let's learn computer science. Okay, in today's session, we are going to start with unit one data representation. And under that, in today's session, we'll learn about binary and decimal prefixes. I'm also giving a syllabus reference here for AS and A Computer Science 9618 syllabus. So in your syllabus, it is mentioned to show understanding of binary magnitudes and the difference between binary prefixes and decimal prefixes. Also, students uh, should understand the difference between and use of Kibi and Kilo, Mebi and Mega, Gibi and Giga, Tebi and Terra. So let's start without wasting any more time with the topic. Okay, before we start with binary prefixes and decimal prefixes, you must understand the basic data measurement units, right? You all have heard about bit, byte. So today we'll start our session with basic understanding about these data measurement units. So what is a bit? Bit is basically can be defined as binary digit. You can say defined as or the full form of it is binary digit. And this is smallest binary digit. When you, uh, you know, start measuring data, then the smallest uh, digit which comes into place is known as bit. Bit can be either a zero or a one, right? It, it takes just one uh, uh, bit to store uh, uh, it. So this is zero or one, right? Then comes nibble. Nibble is combination or group of any four bits. So any combination of four bits, I have written a few examples for you. So one, zero, one, one, or one, 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 or 1010, zero, one, zero. any combination of four bits is known as a nibble. Then comes byte. Now, what is a byte? You all have heard about byte multiple times, right? So byte is basically group or combination of eight bits. Any combination of eight bits. I have written two examples for you. One is 11100011 one, 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 zero, 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 one, one, and another one is one, 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 one. So these are not only two examples. Any other combination whichsoever is available, that is a byte. When eight bits are combined together, that becomes a byte. So now you have understood basic data measurement units, including bit, nibble, and byte. So let's move further, which is our major topic, main topic for today. How binary prefixes are different than decimal prefixes and also to understand what are they right so i have written for you already let's just read it and then i'll uh, make it more clear to you with the use of a table so binary prefixes <clears throat> define magnitude of a value with a power of two whereas Decimal prefixes define magnitude of a value with a power of 10. So major thing here to understand is that binary prefixes, they use power of 2, whereas decimal prefixes, they use power of 10, right? I'll make it more clear when we move down and look at the table. Right now, you only understand that these define magnitude of values with power of 2 when we talk about binary prefixes and magnitude of a value with a power of 10 when we talk about decimal prefixes, right? Now, under binary prefixes, we have kibi, mebi, gibi, and tebi. And as part of decimal prefixes, we have kilo, mega, giga, and tera. In your syllabus, only these four uh, decimal prefixes and these four Binary prefixes are mentioned. Uh, it's not 
that only these are there. However, in your syllabus, only these are mentioned. So I have mentioned only these. We also have Zeta, Zota, and many more, right? Let's understand it in, in a better way using this table. So this side is about binary prefixes and this side is about decimal prefixes. Now, under des uh, binary prefixes, I have mentioned about Kibi, Mebi, Gibi, and Tebi. These are the symbols used. Ki for Kibi, Mi for Mebi, Gi for Gibi, and Ti for Tebi. Let's move towards decimal prefixes first. Kilo, Mega, Giga, and Terra are used for decimal prefixes. K, M, G, and T are the symbols used for them, respectively. Uh, when we talk about kilobyte, then we write here KB. When we talk about megabyte, then we write MB. When we talk about gigabyte, then we write GB. And when we talk about terabyte, then we write TB. So B stands for a byte, capital B, right? Small B stands for a bit and capital B stands for a byte, okay? Now, as I said that uh, binary prefixes, they are factors of two, power of two, and uh, decimal prefixes, they use a magnitude of a value with a power of 10. So here I have mentioned what was my meaning. So when we talk about uh, uh, binary prefixes, so when we talk about kibi, it is two raised to power 10. So a kibi is basically 1024 bytes. Maybe 2 raised to power 20. Gibi 2 raised to power 30. Tebi 2 raised to power 40. And similarly, when we talk about kilo, Kilo is 1000, uh, you know, bytes. So 10 raised to power 3. When we talk about mega, it is uh, 1000 kilos. So 10 raised to power 6. Giga is 1000 uh, um, MBs. So it is 10 raised to power 9. And Terra is 1000 gigabytes. So it is 10 raised to power 12. So please remember... I have mentioned everything, whatever was mentioned above, I have mentioned it here as well. So please remember that a nibble is basically 4 bits, a byte is 8 bits, kibi, now you will understand what is the difference between kibi and kilobyte. So kibi is 1024 bytes, whereas kb is 1000 bytes. So here you can make out the difference that this is power of 2 and here it is power of 10. Right? So maybe is 1024 KB whereas megabyte or MB is 1000 KB which is kilobyte. GB 1024 M maybe and gigabyte 1 gigabyte is 1000 MP, which is megabyte. One TB is equals to 1000 GB and one TB, which is terabyte, is equals to 1000 GB, which is gigabyte. So this table, this uh, uh, table of data measurement units will help you in calculating file sizes, which is our, uh, you know, topic in the syllabus. Uh, when you learn about uh, bitmap images and uh, you know, how to represent data in sound, you will have to calculate their file sizes. So this table will help you in calculating those file sizes. So remember this, right? Now, I'll just, to make this topic more clear to you, I have just picked some exam style questions from specimen paper 2021. So there is a question mentioned over there that state one difference between a kibi byte and a kilobyte. So we have just learned up there. If you see here, we have just learned here that what is a kilo KB and what is a KB. Even here we have, I have mentioned in this table also, I have mentioned about this. So you don't have to do much. You just need to pick from here, your answer, you can just pick from here. So KB is basically a factor of two or it's a binary prefix. Uh, kilo is a factor of 10 and it is decimal prefix. You can also write about this, that one KB is 1024 bytes and one KB is 1000 bytes. So that is how I have mentioned here. A KB byte 
is 1024 bytes and kilobyte is 1000 bytes. A kibi byte is binary prefix and a kilobyte is a denary prefix. And this is of, this question is of one mark. So any one point, if you write, you'll get full marks, right? Next question is give the number of bytes, number of bytes in a maybe byte. So they have asked about number of bytes. Please pay attention here. So here conversion will happen because what we have learned up there is that 1 MB is equals to 1024 KB. But we have not, I have not mentioned anything about 1 MB is equivalent to how much bytes. So you will calculate using this table only. So as you can see, 1 MB, uh, MB is equals to 1024 KB. So one thing you, you are sure that this is equivalent to 1000 24 KB. However, if you look here, they are asking about number of bytes, right? So further, you need to convert this KB into bytes. So you also have learned here that one KB is equal to 1000 bytes. So when they are asking about number of bytes in maybe bytes, so you will write 1024 into 1024. This 1024 for KB and this 1024 to further convert that KB into bytes. So that is why. So there are three different ways of writing this answer. One is this way, that how you have reached to this conclusion, right? One is the way uh, you're calculating and then this is the final answer. You can write this or this, or you can write the factors of two. So two raised to power 10 represent KB, two raised to power 10 represent bytes further. So this whole can be written. So any one of these three methods you can use uh, while writing your answer. So this is also one marker question. So you'll get your full marks, any one of these answers if you have written in your answer, right? So that's all for today. We have learned about binary prefixes and decimal prefixes. Under that, we have covered kibi, kilo, mebi, mega, gibi, giga, Tabby, Terra, and basic data measurement units, including bit, nibble, and byte. Thank you.